Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to discuss one of the important topic of differential calculus, namely chain rule. So before we start with the topic, I would like to tell you the application of chain rule. So application of chain rules are in physics, in chemistry, in engineering, as well as being used to study related race in many disciplines. Now when you think of the chain rule, the thing that comes to your mind is when to use it, right? So when to use uh, this uh, chain rule? The chain rule is used when you have to differentiate function of a function, alright? So let us see one simple example where you can use the chain rule. For example, f is a function of x and y. If f is a function of x and y, and x and y are the function of r and theta. Or, f is a function of x and y, where, where x is equal to r cos theta, and y is equal to r sin theta. Okay, suppose this type of problem is given. So, what is the first thing that you need to do is, you need to make a chain. Okay, how the chain is made? F is a function of X and Y. X and Y is a function of, F is a function of X and Y. X and Y are function of R and theta. The very first thing is to establish a chain. Once the chain is established, then finding out the differentiation is not a big deal, okay? f is a function of xy and xy are the function of r and theta. And suppose you have to, you want to find out del f by del r. So if you want to find out the derivative of f with respect to r, then what you need to do is, you first need to go from f to x and y and then r and then f to x and y and then theta and you can write down the chain rule as del f by del x into del x by del r plus del f by del y into del y by del r. Whatever you have here that should end in each and every term. Likewise you can find out del f by del theta with the help of chain rule as del f by del x into del x by del theta plus del f by del y into del y by del theta okay so this is how you can use the chain rule okay if you can make a chain for two variable you can make a chain for three variables as well okay if suppose f is a function of r s t and if r s t are the functions of x y z and if you wish to find out del f by del x. So how you can do? Yes, del f by del r into del r by del x. This is over. Del f by, what is the next one? S into del s by del x plus del f by del t into del t by del x okay it is like buy one get three or buy one get two offer whatever you have written for del f by del x same you have to write for del f by del y keep it as it is just change this x by y throughout you will get for del f by del y and likewise for del f by del z. So if this concept is clear, chain rule concept is clear to you, 
we can take a very first problem on this topic okay so without much ado let us start with the problem example number 1 if if u is a function of x minus y y minus z z minus x then then find then we just write prove then prove del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z is equal to 0 okay so this is the problem we have now what we have to do is first of all you have to establish a chain okay so what is it use a function of use a function of yes now this is not a single variable so i need to keep this as some other variable so you can write like say let r is equal to say this is to be r say this is to be s and say this is to be t okay so this is r s t now i can establish a chain what you can do here is what is the chain now you can write let u as a function of r s t and r s t is a function of x y z okay now what do you want you want del u by del x del u by del y del u by del z before finding out those things i would like to find out derivative of r with respect to x y z derivative of s with respect to x y z and derivative of t with respect to x y z so let us find out all those nine derivatives what is del r by del x does it contain x yes so derivative of x is 1 derivative of y is 0 del r by del y does it contain y yes derivative of x is 0 derivative of y is 1 so 0 minus 1 that's minus 1 del r by del z is there a term of z no so derivative is 0 del r sorry r is over now the next variable is s function is s del s by del x 0 del s by del y term of y is there so 1 minus 0 1 and this is del s by del z so 0 minus 1 is minus del t by del x del t by del x so derivative of t with respect to x that 0 minus 1 is minus 1 then del t by del y so derivative of t with respect to y there is no term of y so its derivative is 0 and then del t by del z so the derivative of t with respect to z is 1 okay now let us find out one by one all the derivatives so you just need to write down one two words here by chain rule by chain rule del f by sorry not f it's u del u by del x what is del u by del x with the help of chain rule u is the function of rst and rst are the functions of x y z so del u by del r into del r by del x plus del u by del s into del s by del x plus del u by del t into del t by del x now you have these values just substitute it therefore del u by del x is equal to 
del u by del r. What is del r by del s? That's 1 plus del u by del s into del s by del x. That's 0. So del u by del s into 0 plus del u by del t. What is del u by del t into del t by del x? Minus 1. Okay, like this, you have to find out the next one that is del u by del u by del y. So write down the same thing, this one, just replace x by y in this and substitute the values. Del now. Del u by del y is del u by del r into del r by del y plus del u by del s into del s by del y plus del u by del t into del t by del y. Now you have the values just substituted. So del u by del y is equal to del u by del r. What is del r by del y? That's mm. minus 1 plus. Next is del s by del y. That is plus 1 del u by del s into 1 plus del u by del t into del t by del y. Del t by del y is 0. So, I think you should not write this term but for the sake of good understanding, I am writing it. Say this is to be 2. And now let us find out the third one. We remember these derivatives so that I can write it nicely. So, also del u by del z is del u by del r into del r by del z plus del u by del s into del s by del z plus del u by del t into del t by del z. Okay. Now, del u by del z is equal to del u by del r as it is. Now, I need r. r is x minus y with respect to z derivative 0 plus del u by del s. What is del u by del s as it is? What is s? s is y minus z and t is z minus x. Okay. And r is x minus y. So derivative of r with respect to z is 0. Derivative of s with respect to z is minus 1. Del u by del t into derivative of t with respect to z is 1. Okay, say so this is to be equation number 3. Now, after finding out all these things, you just see what we have to find out. So, these proof that problems are my favorite problems because I don't have to worry about the answer. So, so in the proof that problem, what you need to do? Del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z means adding 1, 2 and 3. You just need to write on adding, on adding, 1, 2 and 3 we get what we get del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z. So left hand side add together with left hand side. What is here? First one is del u by del r second term is 0 minus del u by del t. In the second equation, what we have? Minus del u by del r plus del u by del s. And in the third term, what we have? In the third term, zero term we are not writing. Okay. So in the third term, where it is? Yes. Minus del u by del s plus del u by del t. So when you sum up all these things, you would get the lucky number, my lucky number, 0. Del u by del x, del u by del y, 
del u by del z. This completes the problem. So I hope the problem that we have taken is helpful for you and uh, I hope you have got how to write down the chain rule by making the chain first and then applying the chain rule. So this is what we have in this learning video. In the very next learning video, we are going to take one more problem. Okay. So this is what we have in this learning video. Thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.